Hi there, you lovely fly fishing maniacs. My name is Ken Persson, co-founder of Samio Sweden. The first thing I'm gonna do today is to bring my big hat. And here is all the comments from you lovely fly fishers. So I will pull one out and there we go. And the winner is Johan Karlsson. Congratulations, Johan. This vest is yours. All I need now is your address information. So please send that to me. Today, I will give you a neat tip how to restore your smashed up and squished flies to their former glory. So don't miss that. The trout season is over here in Sweden, the darker times awaits and one of my guilty pleasures is to sit here with my flies, having a little drink, something goody, and just sit here and enjoy my flies, sort them out, put them back in order and actually just enjoy the memories because every single one of these flies is handmade some of these are made from myself some of them are from really good friends for example this is one of the lovely nymphs that Mita Balaban in uh, Ribnik gave me I know I caught a 55 centimeter trout on this fly doesn't look much but believe you me this is a killer this is the mandavushka i got it from jan jankovic i think i got it in pliva uh, the mandavushka that means crab louse or <laughs> flautless in russian i read these fly boxes like books like memories from my my fishing trips and I enjoy it so much. When I come to the end of the season sometimes the flies look like I've been sitting on them and I, I know like they are flattened, they are looking horrible. Is there any way to bring the flies back to the former glory? No, of course not. It's just going into Flugo.se and order some new Fill up a saucepan or a kettle with water and put it to boil on the stove. Use your forceps to hold your flattened fly in steam. You can watch how it returns to its former glory. Ah, as good as new again. Here I use my vise just to keep the fly steady for the camera. Elcare flies, hackle flies, CDC, you name it, the steam works like magic. It even works well on the furry rabbit streamers. To steam the flies works really good for me. Uh, unfortunately, when I fish with my small flies, I have plenty of small flies. That's one of my favorite things to do to fish with midges. I have so many of them and sit there one by one. It's painstakingly boring. So I bought one of these. This is a cheap steamer for clothes. I bought it on Rusta, Rusta for 300 Swedish Kron. Really saves time because I can do my whole box at once. See? And it works so good. Ordinary flies with hackles, the CDC, uh, L care. I can see them rise. It looks so good. However, be careful with this type of boxes. This is an old box of mine. Uh, it's sealed, so 
all sealed boxes always keep them open to uh, dry up so you don't keep the moisture back I prefer the ordinary boxes that can breathe because it's basically no problem with moisture these type of boxes they're sealed and waterproof I tried them for a couple of years but you know especially with streamers these get wet you put wet, one wet fly back, you close the lid, you forget about it, and suddenly all of them are moistured up. And it keeps the moisture forever. And sooner or later, the hooks will look like this, and you will get rust on them. And if you get rust, uh, there's nothing I can do, I'm sorry. So, steamer, or just put the kettle on, and your flies will be as good as new. I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks. Uh, see you soon. Bye. If you like this video and want more, please subscribe. And if you want to give me a thumbs up, I would surely appreciate it. Click on the bell to get a notification when a new video is up so you don't miss it. See ya.